What would the world be like without the Beatles? We'll probably never know, but we can imagine and kind of just guess of what would happen or what would not happen. Obviously, the Beatles changed the world. Some people say for the better. Some people say that the Beatles changed the world and they've done some damage. But everybody's got their own opinion. Hey there, I'm Bill Camerata and you're watching Bill's Box of Sound. This video is a review of the Universal film Yesterday. Take a look at it. It's now available on Blu-ray, DVD, digital, probably also some several streaming platforms. And uh, quick disclaimer, uh, this uh, copy was provided to me by Universal so that I could do a review of it and post it online like you're seeing right now. But um, I am not to being financially compensated for this. Anyway, uh, here's the movie, Yesterday. Now, this was in the theaters recently, and it's now in home video. This movie is about a below-average songwriter by the name of Jack Malik, played by Himesh Patel quite well. And uh, he figures out that he's not that great of a songwriter. He's not that good of a musician. And he's never going to really make a career out of this. So he quits... And while he's riding home on his bicycle, there is a worldwide power outage. And during this 12 second period where the power goes out for the entire world, he gets in an accident and gets injured. Then when the power comes back and he comes to, he finds out one way or another that the Beatles never existed. He does everything he can to find out, you know, I know the Beatles. He looks on Google. They're not there. He looks for his re through his records. He finds Bowie records <laughs> in the bees, but not Beatles. So somebody gives him a guitar and he decides to play Yesterday. He discovers that nobody knows who the Beatles are except for him. And... He is encouraged to start his music career again. And since nobody knows who wrote these songs that he's doing, which are Beatles songs, he kind of not too willingly claimed them as his own. And then important people start to discover him. The movie also has Ed Sheeran as himself and Kate McKinnon as a musical agent and uh, this was directed by Danny Boyle the guy who did Slumdog Millionaire so what kind of a movie is this my wife said I don't want to watch this this is science fiction you know what so is It's a Wonderful Life so is Elf so is Field of Dreams. I mean, it's not science fiction where people are getting in uh, rocket ships and flying about and shooting people. <laughs> no, this is a what-if scenario that really couldn't happen, but what if it could? It's very fascinating. Because as he keeps on going further into his exploration of Beatle music and people thinking it's his and people putting their own spin on what this music should be, he gets more and more guilt about the fact that this is happening. And where does it end up? Well, I don't want to give any spoilers out, but one thing I will say about this movie and the way that it was written, it stays true to the fact that the Beatles music is about love and love triumphs over everything. The, the music in the movie is uh, performed uh, by Patel as well as the, uh, the guy who does the score. Where is his name? 
somebody Pemberton. Yeah, Daniel Pemberton is the uh, does the score, and uh, most of the music was recorded at Abbey Road Studios. Um, uh, Himish does a pretty good job on the uh, on the Beatles songs. Uh, he, he's a, a good singer, and uh, the way that the music is produced, uh, it's it's not the Beatles, but it's it's pretty good stuff. So this is a romantic comedy. It's a love story, and it, there's a lot of funny things because as you go on throughout the movie, you'll find out that the Beatles aren't the only thing that has ceased to exist in this alternate universe. Also, there is an alternate ending on the DVD of this movie, which makes you think that was he the only person who forgot that something, I mean, who remember, remembered that something existed and it actually does not? It's a little warped. But overall, I did enjoy this music. Uh, yesterday. And there is one actual Beatles song over the final credits you do hear the Beatles recording of Hey Jude. And I'm uh, putting out this video just a couple of days before the 50th anniversary of the album's at release, Abbey Road. And I'll probably be doing a video about that as well. So, it's a fun little movie. Check it out. It's called Yesterday. It's available on DVD and Blu-ray and streaming. And uh, I had a great time. Hope you did too. If you like what you see, want to see more, please hit the subscribe button and click on the bell. Okay, I've talked too long. Have yourself a great day. Go listen to some Beatle music.